Just when the case against Dominique Strauss-Kahn in New York appears to be on the verge of falling apart, there is another accusation of sexual assault against the former head of the IMF. Michelle Miller tells us this time his accuser is in his native France. French novelist Tristane Bonnat says it's a burden she's carried for eight years, and now her attorney, David Kuby, says she's ready to file a civil complaint against Dominique Strauss-Kahn. The facts date back to the start of 2003, he says. Facts are of an extreme gravity. There was an extreme violence, which was particularly remarkable in this type of case. Bonnat claims Strauss-Kahn tried to rape her during an interview in a Paris apartment when he was finance minister. Meanwhile, while the case against him here in the U.S. is collapsing. On Friday, Strauss-Kahn was freed from house arrest after the credibility of his accuser was thrown into question. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance said the hotel maid lied about events immediately following the alleged assault on May 14th. Sources tell CBS News investigators also obtained a recorded phone call to her boyfriend in an Arizona prison, which she said that she could potentially cash in on the case. All of this raises serious issues issues, says former sex crimes prosecutor Robin Sachs. She lied about the event, she lied to the investigators, and she potentially lied under oath to the grand jury. When you have lies that are specifically about a case, there is no recovering from that. It's Case over, day over, goodbye, good night. The district attorney's office and police are facing criticism over how the case was handled from the very start. It appears that what happened was that this was a rush to judgment. They did not want a Roman Polanski situation where he was going to go run off in France and possibly never return to the United States. But they chose speed and they chose sloppy work over precise interviewing, and these were the consequences. For now, Strauss-Kahn must remain in the U.S. at least until his next court date on July 18th. New polls suggest the French are divided over whether Strauss-Kahn, once a leading contender to be president of France, has a future in politics. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.